uh, we are very excited about um, the auto sector, right? Where Snapdragon is not only enabling the experience, premium experiences in your, in your cabin, uh, vehicle to infrastructure, vehicle to vehicle communication, where, you know, a use case that would be very important mm. to India in terms of saving lives, right? Mm. So we are trying to take the tech that we have, mm. Users are very uh, not just tech savvy, but they are you know also wanted to make sure that they get the value for their money. So we are working to make sure that you know we drive the right cross points or price points and the right use cases. Right. Right. Device that's on you or your device that's around you hmm. should be going into the cloud. A, a pretty amazing play where AI is coming down, you know, water falling down into price points. We're even bringing it down to much lower cost now. Uh, next year, you'll see amazing devices that are, mm. uh, are much more uh, than just flagships. Hi, this is Danish Khan from Money Control and we are joined by uh, Savvy Soin, the India head, India president of Qualcomm, uh, which is a chipset maker and uh, we all know Snapdragon chipsets because the, the chipset powers all the smartphones in the market. So, uh, thank you for joining in, Savvy. And it is always a pleasure talking to you about the latest technology and what Qualcomm is up to. So I would like to start this podcast by seeking your views on uh, the Indian market because uh, we are seeing some action on the telecom front, on the handset front, new chipsets are coming in. Uh, so what is your reading so far? Uh, if you see uh, India as a growth market and is India as a hub for innovation, what, are, what, what uh, if you could give us some colors on that? So, by the way, thank you very much for, for having us. Uh, always a pleasure. Um, I think, look, we are very excited about the India market, and you can see that in, in not, you can actually see that in our booth today, right? Um, you know, it's showcasing a lot of very interesting innovation that is done. Some of it is done in India, some of it is done globally. But we are showcasing that as, as a tech that, you know, could, could leapfrog India in a lot of different verticals, right? Um, we see India, you know, we, we've been here in India for 20 years and a uh, lot of development innovation has been happening here, not just for India, but for the globe. But now we also, I think, very excited about, you know, every industry in India, it seems like it's going through a transformation, mm. right? Uh, we are very excited about um, the auto sector, right? Where Snapdragon is not only enabling the experience, premium experiences in your, in your cabin, mm. uh, but also connecting, you know, the car to the cloud. Uh, we're working on ADAS specifically for India use cases. We're doing the same thing on two-wheeler. Uh, we've been, last year we announced the low cost 5G. So we're very excited about 5G coming into a mass tier of devices below 10,000 rupees and now it's you know mm. well below 8,000 even. Mm. So we're very excited about India as a as a whole right. um, and that's the reason why we are doubling down and investing mm. more time and mm. effort and, mm. and and making sure that the consumers know who mm. we are mm. and what why it's a premium experience on Snapdragon. Right, right. You, you just mentioned the focus on automobile but uh, Qualcomm chipsets uh, go into other products like AR, VR and other IoT products as well. So how are, uh, uh, how, how is that uh, part of business shaping up in India? Are you seeing more traction from the companies which are entering into those segments? Yeah, I think uh, one of the segments I'm very, very excited about is smart glasses, mm. right? We are seeing, um, you know, we announced our partnership with Lenskart. We are working with other partners mm. as well. Mm. Um, I think we are very excited that this is, if we can bring the right use case at the right price point mm. in India, mm. I think uh, you'll see an explosion of smart glasses given, you know, how much uh, in India we all love our social media, right? right. We want to put, you know, we don't want to have the ama most amazing cuisine. We want to take a picture of it and then upload it, right? So, so I think India is the prime place where mm. I think smart glasses right. uh, and the whole XR experience can be really showcased, um, you know, in India. So we're very excited about mm. some of that stuff. Right. India also has a lot of, I think, four R and D centers that Qualcomm has, and the recent one being Chennai. Uh, so, what role uh, India is playing now? Has the role expanded? Is India has India become even more important as you? venture into 6G and other uh, technology uh, uh, terminologies that are popping up in the yeah. market? I think, uh, look, uh, uh, we have a global engineering workforce, right? Uh, and India plays a very important role in, uh, in driving that innovation engine of Qualcomm, right? Uh, and, uh, you know, the last 20 years, we have spent a lot of time in, mm. 
uh, in getting our Qualcomm culture into our Indian facilities, uh, you know, and, and now we are very excited about sort of, you know, the engineers and how they're innovating, right? Mm -hmm. I think they are innovating in uh, not just on 6G, but also on AI, they're innovating on, on multiple fronts. So we're very excited about the talent pool that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and all of the centers are doing leading edge work uh, in much collaboration with our folks in San Diego and mm. other places in the globe. So I'm very excited. In fact, uh, you know, we are so excited. If you walk to our booth, uh, they're not manned by just marketing people, right? We actually have engineers that actually work, for example, on the 6G demo. Mm. It's somebody that actually worked in the 6G R&D right. uh, at Qualcomm, right? Uh, is coming here and talking about 6G. You can, so you can actually feel the passion mm. of these people that actually work on the tech and now showcasing the tech to, you know, to mm. the, the India audience here. Right, right, seeing. right. So in the past, uh, Qualcomm brought India-specific innovation. For instance, the uh, Geophone chipset, I think Qualcomm 205, the company brought for the 4G feature phone. Then the SS specific uh, chipset uh, Qualcomm introduced. Uh, are there more India specific innovations uh, uh, that Qualcomm is working on? A, a lot of them. I think, you know, look, uh, one of the things we are realizing or we realized is, uh, is uh, uh, India is a very unique market with a very unique use cases, you know. Um, and I think we are, uh, we are actually, we are, every day we try to work on uh, how do we enable use cases that are India specific. For example, an ADAS, right? Mm -hmm. You can imagine, uh, you know, driverless vehicles. It's, it's still a ways, but there's a lot of things ADAS can do. You talk about CV2X in mm -hmm. terms of safety, right? What can we bring mm -hmm. in terms of uh, vehicle to infrastructure or vehicle to vehicle communication where, you know, a use case that would be very important mm. to India in terms of saving lives, right? Mm. So we are trying to take the tech that we have mm. and uh, make sure that it has a India, it's solving a problem in India, mm. right? And those are software and as well as chipsets that we are working on, uh, including cost, right? You know how important cost is to the Indian market. Indian users are very, uh, not just tech savvy, but they're, you know, also wanting to make sure that they get the value for their money. So we're working to make sure that, you know, we drive the right cross points or price points and the right use cases, right? Right. So I think we're very excited. I think the mm -hmm. diversity is the other thing that we're very excited about. With all the dialects and languages in India, we have some amazing Indian LLMs that we are showcasing in terms of you could do natural language mm. with a lot of different dialects in India, right? So you can actually, um, you know, work with the Indian diversity. You don't need to have only one language, right. Hindi or English, to mm. have a company or two languages. But you can have your own region language, talk to your mm. um, air conditioning or your geezer, or you can talk to your PC, you can talk to your phone. Mm. So I think the whole multi-mode... Uh, communication is is very interesting to us. Right. My next question question is on the policy making. India has several schemes now, and not just one. I think multiple schemes uh, uh, help Qualcomm grow the business. There is a semiconductor mission. Uh, there is a there, there is a PLI scheme for handset. There is a there is a scheme for ECMS now on the component front. So how do you see these developments? Do you think that uh, this is uh, 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 rightly helping the ecosystem and companies like Qualcomm in India? Look, uh, uh, all of these are, are I think, uh, a, a step, absolutely major steps in the right direction, right? Like, let's say, I, I don't want to comment on the policy per se, mm. but for example, I think given the, uh, the workforce that we have in India and the talent and the people that we have in India, I think they, they are going to play a very important role mm. in each of these elements. For example, in the semiconductor, right? We already are, we're working with all the partners. Hmm. Uh, we have and a very good understanding of when they're gonna be ready, when should we uh, intersect given of Qualcomm products. We are also working on uh, helping, uh, mentoring people that are looking to develop semiconductor, fabulous semiconductor companies. So it's not about just Qualcomm and Qualcomm having this, we are actually giving back to the community, we are also investing through our ventures mm. in semiconductors. So I think we're doing a lot in semiconductors, and we can't wait for you mm. know um, for some of these uh, um, you know um, reality of some of these fabs that are coming mm. online. Uh, I think on the component front, I think we are very excited that there are mo more a component ecosystem coming in India. Uh, I think to the extent in when displays are ready, there's a lot of things that we have done uh, in places like Japan mm. and China. Right to enable um, 
you know, uh, to to do a lot of things that we could do on on our Snapdragon instead of doing it, uh, you know, on the dis, you know on the display side. So there's things we can do to mm, actually help yeah. improve the yield, the quality, all of that stuff. So we're working with mm. surprisingly, we'll be working with all the component vendors on how Qualcomm can make that experience much better on a Snapdragon mm. as partnering with the Indian dis, you right. know Indian component ecosystem. Right. And then on the AI mission, mm. I think we are very excited. I think one of the things that we've been pushing is the whole edge AI case, right? Mm. You can imagine, mm. we don't think everything uh, from your device, from your personal device or from your, um, you know, uh, or your device that's on you or your device that's around you mm. should be going into the cloud. So mm. I think one of the things that we are working with the AI emission quite a bit is showcasing the opportunity that India has for edge AI, right? How the devices have a lot of compute and a lot of processing to be able to do that on the device. Mm. So I think we are very excited that we believe that the edge AI is the right model for for India, hmm. um, where it can do all the processing, and we have so many amazing engineers that can do a lot of good uh, use cases on these devices, right? right? right. Using SLMs and others. Hmm. So we are certainly working with developers hmm. to go showcase that. So hmm. I think all these policies are absolutely, you know, um, uh, a good step forward. And hmm. I think Qualcomm, with our engineering workforce, is helping to that. Right, right. So in term, coming back to the handset market. Uh, uh, where where do we go now from here? Because we have like over 150 million smartphone uh, shipments every year, but uh, the, the the demand is kind of stagnating uh, uh, over the last couple of years. So, do you think that uh, uh, new trends are emerging, which could unlock the uh, new phase of growth? You know, I think uh, uh, our CEO has been uh, uh, pretty vocal about sort of AI as the new UI, hmm. right? We believe that there is a lot of disruption to be had hmm. with AI on the device, right? And we are, and given, you know, we have a, a, a pretty amazing play where AI is coming down, you know, water falling down into price points, we're even bringing it down to much lower cost now. Uh, next year, you'll see amazing devices that are, hmm. uh, are much more uh, than just flagships. Um, and then I think you will see a lot of different use cases where um, the way you interact with the phone will be quite different, right? Uh, and I think we are very excited that that sort of is the the next G, almost like the next, our CEO calls it the next G moment with AI, where the fundamental way we actually use a device is gonna change mm. uh, and things around us are gonna change. So I think we're very excited that, that uh, as we bring AI and especially edge AI onto more and more lower cost devices. You'll right. see a plethora of use cases that we're excited about. Right, right. Last question on India's potential. Where do you see Qualcomm uh, uh, India as a, as a revenue opportunity uh, with respect to the s different segments you just mentioned? In, in let, let, let's say next three years, where do you see Qualcomm India reaching? You know, I think uh, um, as I mentioned, automotive, amazing mm. sector, mm. right? Um, I have a I have a chart that I did for uh, for internal uh, all the areas where you know Qualcomm plays in right mm. fixed wireless all the way to mm. phones and PCs and smart glasses and you know automobile two wheeler and you know you look at each sector mm. India is either number one or mm. number two or number three right. right so you look at it you know where or if it's not number three in the next couple of years there's a projection to be with the growth rate that we have right it's going to be number three right okay. so i think we're very excited that this is a very important market right mm. look at the end of the day after 25 years uh, you know working at qualcomm you know i'm here working at you know at qualcomm india so i think there must be a very important thing for for all of us to be able to go grow this business right, right. and i think you can see um us in action more mm. uh, as a result of Really, we want to communicate to the consumer hmm. the value that Snapdragon brings, right. not just in your phone, but also in your PC, also in your car, also on your watch, also in your smart glasses. I think, really, I, I really mean it. I think we're just just getting started with uh, with our, you know, what we're doing in India. Sure, sure. Well, on that note, I think we can safely conclude this chat, and it's always a pleasure talking to you, Savvy. Thank you very much for doing this. Thank uh, you very much, us, Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you.